Hello and welcome to those of you who are taking listening and speaking this fall semester of 2020. Today I want to spend a few minutes talking about some of the technologies that we'll be using this semester. And this video is to also complement the video that I made earlier where I explain some of the mobile technologies that we'll be using. Depending on the device that you're going to be using this semester, since we're still transitioning to an online uh, environment, an online class as of the time of this recording, I want to provide you different uh, options as to the different technologies that you can use, again, depending on the device uh, that you're going to be using. So today uh, I'm going to begin by showing you uh, Microsoft Teams. And so again, Microsoft Teams is going to be where most of the content for the course is going to reside. It's also going to be where most of our interactions are going to reside in terms of the online sessions that we're going to be having during our normal class period. Again, our class period is going to meet between 8 in the, in the morning and 10 o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday. So when you go into your uh, app, your Microsoft Teams app, as it appears here, you're going to go into the Teams. Listening and Speaking is the name of the team because that's the name of the course. And we're going to be going into the post section. This is where you're going to find the, uh, the meeting uh, that you can join. I'm going to create here just a quick example of what that's going to look like. So from my end, I would schedule a team meeting for the purposes of this recording. I'll just type in uh, test or testing and I'll just hit send. So when you go into Microsoft Teams, whether it's on your cell phone or your desktop computer, you're going to see this invitation to join. And from here, you should be able to join the meeting by selecting this option up here at the top right-hand corner of your screen called Join. You click there, and you'll be prompted to enter into the meeting. This is how you're going to be going into uh, the uh, classes, the online classes that we're going to have again every day, Monday through Friday, between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. All right, so uh, that is where we're going to be uh, accessing our online classes. Now, this section also, of course, can be used for sharing uh, posts. And uh, if I have any announcements for the class, I'll be using this space to communicate those to you. You can obviously respond and you can post whatever you would like related to the class. If you think that you have questions that others would benefit from, then here is the ideal place for you to do that. Now, if you want to contact me privately, I would ask that instead of you sending me an email that you go into the chat feature in, within Microsoft Teams and send me a chat message. Again, this, these uh, chats are one-on-one -on -one correspondence, much like an email. I basically don't use my email for class purposes. I try to keep everything within Microsoft Teams because it just makes it, uh, I, I think, easier uh, for, for all of us. All right, so you're going to be getting a more prompt response if you send me a message via chat or if you send a message via post here within Microsoft Teams. Now, I did mention this earlier, but notice that we are in the general channel. We'll talk later about the other channels that we'll be using throughout the course. The general channel is going to be where most of, again, uh, the course content is going to reside and also where you can find additional technologies that we're going to be using for the class. All right, so let's take a look here along the top of the screen. Next to post, we have files. So this is very similar to what I explained uh, with the mobile app. Notice here we have folders and files. These are going to be where we're going to save as a group all of the files and folders that relate to the class. The, I think it's also important to mention that the files here are accessible to everyone. So anything that you share here, all of us will be able to uh, access uh, this information. Now, if you have any files and folders that you want to keep private, again, I would suggest that you use OneDrive. I mentioned that uh, briefly in uh, a prior video, and um, uh, we'll take a look at that here in a few minutes where you can uh, do that. But you do have a OneDrive for your own purposes, so whether you're going to be using that for our class or other classes, uh, you might find it useful to install uh, the One 
Drive app either on your computer and or on your mobile device. If you notice here by default if you're running Windows uh, OneDrive is already installed. If you're going to install the uh, any of the uh, or the OneDrive, I'm sorry, the uh, Microsoft 365 suite, we'll talk about that here also here in, in, in a few minutes. All right, so let's continue on here. The class notebook we're not going to be using much at all in for the purposes of this class. It's here by default because as I set up this type of uh, team. OneNote is part of the um, is part of the the package. Okay, so we're not going to be using Class Notebook. We'll be using some other technologies uh, for accessing the content. Assignments and grades. These are two very important uh, spaces uh, tabs here that you want to access on a regular basis in order to find out uh, how you're doing in the class, the grades that you receive. Remember that all of the activities that we do for the class are uh, that have that receive that where you receive a grade. This is where you can access those grades. You see here, there's going to be a category for assigned. So these are going to be those activities that we're currently doing, but you have not received a grade. Down below, you see here graded, and these are going to be the activities that where you have received a grade. So again, very important that you continue to check throughout the semester your grades. If there are any questions or uh, issues regarding your grade, it's always important to contact me uh, in a timely fashion. Make sure you contact me right away if you have any questions or doubts about your grades. Here we have uh, your grades. I believe in the app you only have access to assignments. Perhaps this grades tab is only for me as your instructor, but regardless you should be able to access your assignments uh, here and all of your grades. All right, so basically for uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, that's going to be it. Now you'll notice that we also have a Flipgrid and also a Trello, and we'll we'll talk about that now. So these other technologies, Flipgrid and the Trello uh, website, well, uh, these two technologies are going to complement what we do here in Microsoft Teams. But you can always access this information directly from Teams, and that was, and that is the intention of using this one app is to try to keep everything within one central space. We're not going to be using, uh, we're not going to be using the uh, the virtual classroom for this class. Again, everything will be within this one app, Microsoft Teams. The last thing I'll say about this app is that. Although we're on a desktop computer, you're going to need to download this app. This is a dedicated app to access Microsoft Teams. And I've noticed that if I go into my, uh, Microsoft 365, um, I, sometimes it's um, difficult to actually access Microsoft Teams within a browser. So depending on your operating system, I'll try that right now to see whether or not I can get in. Sometimes I can get in, sometimes I, I'm not able to, but I've uh, had better success just downloading the app itself, Microsoft Teams, and accessing the course content through a dedicated app. Okay, so it is let, letting me do that, so that's fine. If uh, for any reason you're not able to open up the app or open the, open up the uh, website in your browser, then know that you'll need to download a Microsoft Teams app. Just check this. If you guys have any problems or issues accessing Microsoft Teams, let me know. And um, if you'll see here, uh, once you're a member of the uh, team, and I'm going to be setting that up at the beginning uh, of the semester, you will have a team that's listed here, as, I, as, as it appears, uh, listening and speaking, and you go into that and it's basically the same information. So again, this is Microsoft Teams accessing it through the browser. This is Microsoft Teams accessing it through the dedicated app. Okay, so just know that this is a possibility. If you have any issues accessing it with your browser, I uh, know that there is an app for that for your desktop computer. All right, uh, one thing I will say here also in Office 365. Now, sometimes I refer to this as Office 365. 
Other times I'll mention it as Microsoft 365. They're currently undergoing a change in the name for this page. Uh, I think now they're going to be referring to it as Microsoft 365. So uh, either way, it's the same same uh, website. You've got access to all of these different apps. If you need additional apps here, you can click here and, and access these as well. But one thing you'll probably want to do if you don't have Microsoft um, 365 installed on your computer is to install this. Now, as students of the university, you are entitled to five separate licenses. That is, you can install this uh, Microsoft 365 suite on five different computers. If you have Office installed on your computer, I would actually uninstall it and then install it directly from this page by clicking here and this will prompt you automatically to uh, begin downloading this onto your computer. So this will allow you to have apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, OneNote, and OneDrive installed onto your computer. And with OneDrive, as you see here, I have my OneDrive already installed and uh, it's syncing in the background. And this will allow you to have your own OneDrive, your own space or uh, that you can use to uh, organize your files and folders for any of the courses that you have here at the university. So know that this is available and uh, check this out again if you have any issues about how to install the Microsoft 365 app then feel free to let me know and I'll try to assist. Now we're not in the university uh, yet um, but you will have broadband access, and uh, once we return to the classroom, we'll talk more specifically about how to access the Wi-Fi, and um, we'll, uh, I'll try to help you with that if uh, that happens uh, this, this uh, first year here. Okay, so let's go back to Microsoft Teams, and we've talked about the main tabs here along the top. So let's get into now Flipgrid. Now Flipgrid is a service that allows you to create videos. It also allows me as your instructor to create videos. And what's special about this service is that you can reply to the videos that I create and um, create basically a thread. Uh, much like you would in a text or in a forum, you can do the same thing with video. So you can respond to my, uh, my videos. Since this is a class in listening and speaking, we're going to be using this service a lot throughout uh, the semester. So one of the first activities that we're going to have is uh, going to, to complete this topic called in introductions. All right, And uh, we'll talk more about this when we uh, begin our first day of class. But here you can go in, and uh, because Flipgrid is also part of Microsoft, uh, you can access it using your uh, ID, your, uh, your uh, account with Microsoft 365. Remember that your email for the university is going to begin with AL and then your ID at edu.uaa.mx. All right, so uh, we'll get into... Flipgrid a little bit more, but know that you can access this content directly through Microsoft Teams. All right, now the next tab here, LNS, Listening and Speaking. This is going to take us now to the course content. This is going to be in the form of uh, a Trello board. And a Trello board is basically what you see here. This is going to be where all of our activities lectures, basically all the activities that we do for the class can be found here. And you'll notice that it's organized by week. So if you scroll from left and right, um, you'll see different course content that's organized by, by each of these weeks as it shows up here. Now, since we're just now starting the course, there's not a lot of information here. But as we get into it, more and more information will, uh, will uh, reside here. Now notice we have cards. These are referred to as cards. And I'm going to organize these by day. So we have here, we'll have Monday through Friday, and I'll have cards 
or activities that are going to be uh, listed here just below each of the days of the week. Now, there are other views that you're that you can um, where you can access the same information. And so here, if you click on calendar, this is going to bring up a calendar where you can access the same cards, but by day. And so this might be a, an easier way for you to access this content. If I click on this card, this is orientation. It's called orientation. This is going to be some of the activities we do the first day. If I go back and click here, orientation, you'll notice it's the same card. Again, just two different ways of accessing the same information. So I think calendar, the calendar view and the week view will be probably the most useful ways of accessing the course content. Now, if you choose to, you can open this up in a separate window. That's going to be up to you if you wish to uh, look at the same information. If you want to share this in your favorites in your browser, that's fine. Again, we're in the desktop app, so uh, it's going to be up to you how you feel comfortable uh, accessing this information. Um, but the point here is that it, it's hopefully as easy as possible for you to check to see what we're doing day to day, what we've done in the past, and also what we plan to do in the future. And again, this is going to be an easy way, I think, for you to access this information. If you go into each of these cards, you'll be able to get more detailed information as to what uh, the activity is, you know, what you're going to be asked to do. And uh, this, this card or these cards that are listed here in Trello are going to link in some cases to the activities that we're doing in Flipgrid. Okay, so the idea here again is to try to streamline and make this as easy as possible give you choices in how you want to access some of this information. And, you know, obviously in our day-to-day -day live sessions, we'll be talking specifically about what we're doing each day. But again, I want to make this information available to you so that uh, you can kind of plan your uh, strategies and, and how you're uh, interacting with uh, the different activities for the class. So basically that's it. I wanted to share with you today uh, the main technologies. Again, Microsoft Teams is going to be where all of our course content is going to reside. And in addition to Microsoft Teams, we're going to be using Flipgrid and Trello, as I've discussed here today, to, um, to I think, uh, complete uh, what we need to do for, for this for the course. All right, so I hope this helps. If you have any issues with technology, please let me know. I know the first few days of a class can be an adjustment, so don't feel overwhelmed with all of the technologies here that we're using. Since we're beginning the course online, uh, this will allow us to maintain uh, close communication in terms of uh, whether or not if you need assistance, you can reach out and send me a chat privately. You can post here publicly in our Microsoft Teams forum. And, um, and obviously ask questions during the online sessions that we're going to have uh, each day. All right, so again, I want to welcome you to listening and speaking class, and uh, I look forward to getting started uh, this semester.